to your point, to your, you know, talking about the series, um, best player in the series is obviously Joel Embiid, no doubt about it. Um, stopping him is going to be almost impossible, but they have they have a really good – this team is long and athletic defensively, and they can get out and run. And the Sixers are slow. They don't they don't run. They haven't been able to do it since that since Doc has gotten there. They've been terrible in transition. They're a terrible transition team. Joel Embiid is slow, right? James Harden, we know he's slow. All that Texas Roadhouse is, is weighing him down. He can barely get up and down the floor. So they don't do a good job out in transition. The Nets can get out and, and make and make plays in transition. Um, so, I, but as far as the matchup I'm looking at, I, I look at, I, look, I could say Embiid versus Claxton. It, that's, that's disingenuous. Claxton's not going to be guarding a one-on-one. There's going to be a lot of double teams. Um, I think what I have to look at here is Macau versus James Harden or DFS versus, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith versus James Harden. I think if you can eliminate James Harden, which isn't hard because James Harden elimin- eliminates himself. That's what he does in the playoffs. He eliminates himself. He don't, he don't come to play. So, if we can get him to just have bad days consistently in the playoff, in this playoff series, we have a chance to win the series. I, I, I feel like they don't scare me as a fan. I, the goal as a Nets fan for me is a six game series. If we, if we lose in six, I feel okay. We competed, but I would, I think they can go seven and potentially steal one. I think they can steal this thing. I don't think the Sixers are as good as people are making them out to be. Don't scare me. Joel scary though. Joel scary though. I'll give Joel that he's a problem, but no one else is not the fat man. So you got Nets 4-3? <laughs> I picked the Nets that they're going to lose. You know how I am about that. But uh, for the sake of the podcast, I do think the Nets could win. This is one of those series where in that first round, in the first round, like you can get a real, you can get an upset. There's not going to be a lot of upsets. Besides, in the Lakers series, it's not an upset. We'll talk about it. That won't be an upset, all right? But uh, even if the Lakers win. But this series can be a genuine upset, and I think this is the, this has the real potential for that. So – yeah, if the Nets if the Nets win this series, it'll be in seven. I think it'll be in seven. Miles, what's your prediction on this series? I think it's Philly in six. I mean, I think, yeah, the Nets are going to compete, but when it comes down to it, I think MB is just going to do his thing. Probably 35, 15, six, every game, which is, I mean, it's not out of the ordinary that's what he's been doing all year that's pretty much his averages so um i think he's gonna do his thing and it all depends on how Harden plays because if we look at it the last month of the season he's been really not Harden like like it's it's weird but let's see if he turns it on for the nets you know a little little revenge revenge for what <laughs> And the Nets owe him. I, and I hope Nets fans boo the hell out of him. Please. Please boo James Harden. Please. 